Hi, I'm Dr. Jesse Mills, Director of UCLA Health, the Men's Clinic. I'm here today to present Hot Topics in Men's Health. One of the things that I get all the time, questions in my clinic about men wanting vasectomies. They want to know what's going to happen after a vasectomy. And so what I want to talk about today is five myths about vasectomy. So these are the things that aren't going to happen to you that you need to know when you're making an informed decision about your post-fatherhood birth control options. So myth number one, I stop ejaculating after vasectomy. So we got to learn a little bit about anatomy to understand what that means. So a man's ejaculate, the fluid that comes out, the semen, is actually made up of three different organ systems fluids. Number one is the testicular fluid, that's the sperm. That makes up less than 1% of the overall semen volume. Number two is fluid from the seminal vesicles, which are these two little paired structures that are deep in the pelvis that actually ejaculates the sugar and the fluid component that keeps sperm healthy and alive for them to do their job. And the third is the prostate gland. When we do vasectomies, what we're doing is just cutting off the sperm tubes only. So in other words, 99.9% .9 of what you ejaculated fluid-wise before your vasectomy, you're going to do just fine after your vasectomy. So that's the biggest myth. Myth number two is I stop making sperm after vasectomies. Also not true. So what happens after a man gets a vasectomy to those sperm? It's the exact same thing thing that happens to those sperm if a man doesn't ejaculate for days, months, hard to imagine, but years, then the sperm just involute. They get reabsorbed by the body and are reproduced again down the road with those same components. So in other words, nothing happens to your sperm. They are just hanging out waiting for their day in the sun. Myth number three, it's easier for my wife to get this taken care of than me. So let's talk about that, guys. It really is time to, time to man up here because women have to go through a much more invasive procedure to get their tubes tied or to have any kind of insert placed for them to not ha get pregnant. Vasectomy is a 10 to 15 minute procedure that most of the time we do with just a little local anesthetic. You're back doing whatever you need really within a week. So minimally invasive compared to what our wives and partners have to go through. Myth number four, Vasectomy causes cancer. This is something that I've seen over the years. I've even had men come in asking me to reverse their vasectomy because they're worried about cancer, prostate, testicular, you name it. They've heard it. They've read it. They're worried about it. I get it. Cancer bad. Vasectomy, usually good. What it turns out, we really don't know that entire story, but hundreds and hundreds of thousands of men in this country alone get vasectomies and we're not really seeing a huge increase in any of our cancer risks. So again, this is a relative risk that we don't even have enough information to counsel men on, but does not seem to be relevant or significant enough to cause any kind of alarm about vasectomy. Myth number five, this is a big one. This is what guys are so worried about is vasectomy is gonna kill my mojo. It's gonna get rid of my testosterone. I won't have any interest in sex anymore. And probably the exact opposite is true. Vasectomy itself has very little to do with testosterone production. In fact, probably nothing. Testosterone is made in the testicle, but it's made and then secreted through the bloodstream, which we don't alter when we're doing a vasectomy. So all the blood vessels that were there before the vasectomy are there after the vasectomy. What it does do for most men is it actually liberates them. If you're not worried about yet another pregnancy, yet another college fund, yet another ding in your retirement, then you can actually relax, enjoy sex a little bit more. And a lot of men talk about the fact that after their vasectomy, they're even happier and more liberated and maybe even have a higher libido. So don't worry about that. Totally unrelated. If a vasectomy is the right procedure for you, go ahead and schedule it. Thanks very much. Hot topics in men's health. Dr. Jesse Mills.